Hey guys, it's Bria, and I'm going to do the mailbag uh, via video this week. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think, uh, what I should add, what I should take out, whatever. Um, okay, so first question from Steve. I've been getting this question a lot, so I want to just answer it once and for all. And the question is, if you could really choose a superpower ability, what would it be? And I've said before, but I think I would choose speed. Um, I think it would make my life far more convenient. I could do everything really fast, like clean my house or go visit my family in Texas or, uh, you know, all those things. Like, I would never be late. It would be amazing. Um, okay, next question. You can tell I'm looking at these on my email. Um, which, by the way, uh, feel free to email your questions to me at info at briagrant.com and I will try to answer them. I'm not going to answer every question, but I will try to reply to you via email. If not, on the weekly, hopefully weekly, mailbag uh, video or post. Okay, uh, next question is from Brett, and it has to do with the snarkiness that Daphne has on the show. And he wants to know if that is in the script or if it's improvised by me. And on this, I have to give credit to um, the writers on Heroes. They uh, came up with the character and the snarkiness, and all of that is totally written in, all the jokes, everything. It's already there for me to just take it and run with it. Uh, run with it, haha. Um, so, yeah, that's written in by the writers. They're just amazing, and that was sort of all given to me when I got the character. But that's a really good question. Uh, okay. Next question um, is from Ronnie, and the question is, in Heroes, did you prefer Daphne with the new hairstyle or the old? And I am assuming you're referring to the future episode where I have, like, the straight brown hair and the bangs. And I have to say, um, I definitely prefer uh, the blonde, uh, the, the old, or... Yeah, the old hairstyle, the one I currently have, because it's my hair. <laughs> it's my real life hair. Um, and so I kind of prefer that because wigs get kind of itchy. But for, for Daphne also, I think it's sort of fun and spunky like her character. Uh, and last question. I'm trying to keep this not terribly long so you guys will actually watch the whole thing. It's from Jay, and it's sort of an actor-writer question. But I think it's great for anybody who's a writer working on scripts and stuff like that. Sorry, I'm getting text messages. Um, it is, um, do you prefer scripts that have little character direction or only and only set up the scenes, or do you like to see where writers come from? And um, that question is sort of like, you know, we, the script, if it reads like, uh, you know, a character walks into the room and says these lines, sometimes it's just like that. Or sometimes it's like a character walks into the room and she has a sad look on her face, and, you know, and then it has the lines, and she turns her head, and she has, you know, this thought in her head the whole time. And that's what I like, the second one, um, the, the, all the descriptions that the writer gives, because um, then you can know the original intent of the writer, which I think most actors uh, want to honor that intent, and you want the character to be the character that the writer came up with. Um... So, yeah, I think I think it's good to give actors some description. I mean, obviously not to, you know, write a book on each character, but I think you want to know what's going through your um, character's head. And um, sometimes it's hard to figure out just from uh, stage direction. But anything you can give us is always helpful. Okay, that's it for this week um, for my first mailbag. Uh, let me know what you think. Give me some feedback. Um, yeah. Okay, thanks for watching.